So for the moment, I moved the Fire TV out to my living room to kind of play with it. And two things I have been successfully able to do is install two emulators on the Fire TV. So if we hit the home button here, make sure it's focused, we can actually go down to settings, over to applications. The two I have on here is one for Super Nintendo and then one for Sega Genesis. So if we say manage all applications, uh, the first one is, super, this one's already open, so if we click it, as the middle of Mario. But yeah, when you go back or hit the menu button, um, you can just load whatever ROM you have, and at the moment just Super Mario All Stars. So you can just click it and click on continue. And then you can actually play it with the uh, <coughs> a wired PS3 controller. I suck at that. So now we can actually hit the home button again and then we can go down to settings again. Because these applications are sideloaded, they're not part of the Amazon App Store. Um, so they're not supposed to actually be on here. But if you sideload them through your computer, you can get them on here. But they're buried under applications and under manage all applications. There is no Google Play Store on here. And then here is the Sega. I was playing Sonic. One cool thing about the Amazon Play Store too, or just the Fire TV in general, <coughs> is when you're watching something like, right now I'm watching a show called Heavy on the Discovery Channel. And I was already in the middle of it, and so we've been switching between these emulators while it's been paused. And so now we're just going to go ahead and start where I left off. My husband doesn't like it, so that in turn causes more stress for me. And the cool thing about this thing is you can actually talk to it with a little microphone button like right in the top. I don't think you can see it. So I can long press it and then say whatever I want, like um, Jennifer Aniston. And then these are all the Jennifer Aniston movies. Once it loads up here. The thing is they don't tell you what's... Yeah, they do. Okay, so that one's Prime. So, for instance, if I want to start watching that movie, it's on Amazon Prime. What's cool, though, is it's instant loading. So as I'm sitting here looking at this picture-perfect cover art, it thinks, hey, if he wants to start watching it, I better start downloading it now. Normally, when you start a movie on Netflix or Amazon Prime, it says buffering, 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 the movie plays. So it's assuming I want to watch this movie now, so it's starting to download it in the background. So if I do choose to watch it, I'll click it and click watch now and watch what happens. That's kind of cool. And you can also search for movies too. So if I hold down this button and say, super bad, there's the movie, which is not on Prime, but it notices who's in it, and these are the other ones that you can watch. Um, there's games on here that you can get from Amazon Prime, or from the, the store and pay for them, or you can actually sideload Android games as well. Um, I tried one, but it crashed, but um, that was actually more of a test to see if I can get a paid app installed on here off my phone. Because because there's no Play Store, I couldn't buy the um, Sega emulator. So I had to buy it on my phone, and then I'm not going to get too techy, but yep, I was able to transfer the APK off my phone and install it on here. And it worked. Uh, photos, I don't have anything set up, but if you had, you could you could stream it. But that's a brief tour of the Play Store. And let's go back to my other one I was watching. Let's see how fast it comes back on. It feels like wow. she's a cancer. That's pretty cool. Anyway, talk to you later.